you're on. Hello, I'm Jeremy Lazarus. I am uh, incoming president of the American Medical Association and being very proud to be the third psychiatrist uh, elected to this office. Uh, this is the largest uh, national physician organization uh, in the country. And uh, we're also extremely proud to have a, an extremely uh, dynamic uh, APA AMA delegation, which brings the views of the uh, APA to all of the members of the APA. And uh, there's so many things that we do, uh, and some of the things we've talked about before, Dr. Justy, things like that we're looking at health outcomes and the importance of the burden of disease, and we would hope that the APA could be a part of that process in looking at the burden of disease. You know, we might look at things like depression or manic depressive illness or uh, schizophrenia, uh, other illnesses that have a disease burden. And we're also looking at delivery and payment reforms and how psychiatry and the mentally ill can be taken care of in a more effective way and especially recognizing the need for psychiatrists to be the leaders of those uh, physician-led teams. So we're looking forward to this opportunity over this next year to work more closely with the APA. Hi, I'm Dilip Chastai. I'm the president of the American Psychiatric Association. And I want to first start by congratulating Thank you. Dr. Lazarus. It's a uh, matter of celebration and uh, great pride for all the psychiatrists to have you as a president and face of the AMA. Uh, as you said, this has been more than 70 years since we had a psychiatrist at the helm of uh, this most prestigious medical organization. And uh, both the AMA and the APA, these are the two oldest medical organizations in the US. and arguably the most prestigious ones in the world in the respective field. Uh, so we are just delighted to have you in that position. Uh, there are lots of things that AMA and APA can do together. Uh, in a way, the mental health parity law would not have passed but for close working relationship between the AMA and APA. And uh, there are several other areas that uh, we can work on. But one thing I wanted to find out for the listeners is what would be your priorities during your year of presidency of the AMA? Well, my priorities are going to be to push the strategic plan of the AMA, which includes three big areas. One is to, again, look at health outcomes and uh, to try to find those uh, illnesses that have the heavy disease burden, like depression, like diabetes, uh, like heart disease. Uh, and try to f and, and actually establish a dashboard where we can actually influence the outcome of those illnesses. So we, we'll be looking at specialty societies to help us and collaborate with that. We're also looking at uh, advancing change in medical education, and we're also looking at emerging payment and delivery reforms for physicians to make uh, practice more satisfying for physicians in whatever kind of practice they're involved in. And then, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I will be noting the need to uh, make sure that mental illness and the treatment of the mentally ill is incorporated in and integrated into these emerging uh, healthcare systems. And of course, we're looking at healthcare systems that we think should be physician-led. So in the case of psychiatry, obviously we think they ought to be psychiatrist-led. Uh, and in addition to that, I'll be looking at uh, physicians as role models for their patients in terms of making sure that they take care of themselves both physically and psychologically. Um, and, uh, of course, one of the other issues that is of particular interest to psychiatry in the APA is our, our long-standing issues around scope of practice. And, of course, we have the Scope of Practice Partnership, which the APA is a, has been a long-standing partner in to make sure that uh, those who have the best training take care of our patients. And certainly with the mentally ill, we think the psychiatrist should be that person. Yeah, this is really exciting. I think. Uh, AMA and AP are clearly on the same wavelength in most of these areas. Um, for my own presidency, the theme is uh, enhancing well-being across a lifespan. So that fits in very well with <coughs> what you had described. Um, working together uh, for various issues, uh, you talked about the scope of practice issue. This is something, if I mistake now, the APA started first, and right. then the other specialties also became aware of the importance of this issue. Right. And then we have worked together on things like substance use, uh, health of children and adolescents, uh, depression. Uh, and psychiatrists are physicians first, 
and then psychiatrist. Um, but likewise, I also think that psychiatry is assuming increasing role within the core of medicine. Um, for example, <clears throat> several of the major mental illnesses, they are the causes of grave disability, among the top medical causes of grave disability. Uh, depression clearly is one example. And th these are areas in which we can work together. One thing uh, also I'm interested in is the what I call positive psychiatry, which is things like resilience, optimism, social engagement, because studies in medicine have shown how these affect physical health as well as longevity. So I really look forward to uh, the next year when uh, the AMA and APA will have a really close uh, relationship. Well, the other way I think that, that will be important going forward, even though this has been going on for a long time, is to bring the message of the APA and about the psychiatry and mental illness and using the AP, AMA's uh, ability to get the message out in, in a much more broader part of the medical community and, and, the, and the community at large and, and bring that message out I think will be very helpful. The other thing that we, we hadn't mentioned is that we also work collaboratively at the state level because the AMA also has all of the states and other specialties so we help the district branches of the APA who are involved with their state medical societies to get messages out about mental illness or scope of practice issues or other issues that are important to psychiatry. I think that's absolutely true. Um, increasingly I believe that the power will move more and more to the state level in terms of legislation uh, and other uh, similar policy agenda. So I think AMA has uh, set up a great role model in terms of the state branches and the AP also. The district branches are very active and so this is uh, something we can definitely look forward to working together. All right. Now there's another area that of course the APA is already involved in uh, with the AMA and many other uh, specialties and that's in the First Lady's Joining Forces Initiative to try to take care of uh, veterans and active duty military and their families who have uh, traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder and post-combat depression. And so we have uh, on our website, and I know APA is working on this also, information to give to physicians out in the community and psychiatrists are a big part of that about the appropriate treatment and screening and interventions with both the veterans and active military and their families who are and, and about 50% of these uh, uh, returning heroes are, are being treated in the private sector. So we want to get that message out, and I think that's another way that we, we have an incredible uh, opportunity to collaborate. I agree 100%. I think the issue about depression and suicide in the returning veterans uh, is, uh, is a, an issue of critical importance for everybody. And the more we can do to help um, our veterans uh, better it is. Um, one point you mentioned earlier about our serving as role models, I think it's also important. Personally, I have a strong interest in successful aging, and it involves uh, obviously positive health habits, but also attitudes toward aging, and this is something we as physicians can do for ourselves, which become then role model for our patients. And with issues such as obesity being so common, uh, I think this is a place where, again, the AMA and APA can work together. Right. Now, one area that, uh, that we have to have a discussion about is because the AMA is such a large umbrella organization, it, it's, it's much like a, a department store. So mm -hmm. everyone brings their uh, interests, their issues that are important to them. The APA brings it, it, its interests also. So the fact that we have a strong presence uh, in the AMA from the APA is extremely important. And of course, that's related to membership. So uh, I hope this gives us an opportunity to encourage APA members who might not be members of the AMA to join. Because the more we have in the AMA, we bring that voice and those issues uh, in a much more amplified way uh, to the AMA, the House of Medicine. Thank you. Again, I want to congratulate you and tell you how proud we all are of your becoming the president of the AMA and look forward to working with you. Thanks so much.